Railway signaling systems are one of the few sophisticated systems of railways that operates and manages a large number of train movements safely and efficiently. In this video, we will cover some key points of railway signaling. Types of Railway Signals Signals are provided to control and guard the railway network against the risk of overcrowding of trains. There are two types of railway signaling commonly used. The permissive signal system guards the railway network while the absolute signal system guard and control the network. Automatic block signal system, permissive. Automatic block signal system applies the short circuits of the front and rear train wheels and axles and disconnects the relay. So, when the replay is opened, the traffic signal is converted to red signal. Interlocking signal system, absolute. Interlocking signal system controls the signals for each rail network so when clearance is required from one network, it stops the other overlapping network with a controlled signal system. Initially interlocking systems worked with the help of push buttons to control the signal system, but now electric relay-based interlocking is used to control the signal system. What are the reasons for railway signaling failures? Railway signals normally fail when a short circuit takes place due to some unavoidable circumstances like heavy rainfall or ponding, etc. In an open environment, exposed cables or wear slash tear of cable cover may create short circuits and turn the signal to red. Regular maintenance of signal cabling, drainage curbs, replacement of broken drainage gullies or curbs, insulation of joints, replacement of old tracks, etc. is some of the key mitigation measures that need to consider minimizing abrupt signal failures. What is Railway Home Signal? In a railway network system, the primary stop signal is known as home signal and the last signal is known as starter. The first stop signal at each signal box is called the home signal. The last stop signal at each signal box is called the starting signal, or starter. Home signal provides early warning to the train driver and if it is needed to slow the train or stop the train, the rear signal, known as distance signal, inform the driver to completely stop the train at the home signals. Railway Signal Principles The basic principles of railway signaling cover the following objectives to prevent railway traffic from The collision of one train bogies with others the derailment of train bogies. The collision of LRT or tram with road vehicles or pedestrians. The collision of a train with railway assets such as platform, footbridges, etc., and railway staff. To meet the above objectives, signal enforcement systems are applied, and it comes with two key mechanisms. The trackside mechanism interfaces with the signaling system train borne mechanism that connects with the emergency braking system. They both work collectively to enforce signal systems and meet those objectives. It keeps two running trains a safe distance away from each other and minimizes the possibility of any collision of trains running on the same track. It also helps the controller unit regarding any obstruction along the train route by regular monitoring of the track route. It also raises a warning when trains approach the signal so that a go-ahead or stop message can be transmitted to the train driver at the appropriate time. It allows the train operator unit to maintain train running frequency and timetable as per the defined schedule. Railway Signaling Technologies European Train Control System ETCS. European Train Control System ETCS, work with the concept of interoperability of trains within the European train network. ETCS is significantly different from traditional fixed block signal systems. ETCS provides continuous or intermittent or on-demand data transmission from the tram slash train unit to the train control center and uses advanced data management software. Traffic Data Management Software Radio Block Unit uses advanced traffic data management software to efficiently operate the train network. It can significantly reduce headway and enhance network capacity. Driver Advisory System Driver Advisory System DAS, inform train driver regarding the train operating speed that needs to be applied or maintained to efficiently utilize the network and resources. The operating speed is pre-recorded by using historical data and route network information are loaded before the journey begins. I hope this video helps you to understand the railway signaling system briefly. Please feel free to like, share and comment.